How did you feel when you woke up this morning? Did you feel rested and restored and ready to face the day? Or did you feel lousy and tired and upset because you tossed and turned all night? You are not alone. Many of my clients, friends, family, networking lady friends, all come to me and say, Mary Lou, I gotta get a good night's sleep. I'm Mary Lou Harris, holistic health coach at Awesome Natural Healing, and I'm here to bring you information today that will help you get that great night's sleep. We're gonna talk about the science behind a great night's sleep and give you tips and pointers that you don't even realize are keeping you from getting that restorative sleep that your body so badly needs to be its healthiest and most vibrant self. Not sleeping well is no joke. There are 100,000 car crashes a year due to sleeplessness. And what if I told you that anxiety, depression, lack of focus, and even inflammation in your body, which obviously causes pain, could be improved with one small switch. More sleep. So most people think when they don't get a good night's sleep that maybe they'll be a little crabby the next day or maybe they won't be their best self to their, to their boss or their child or maybe they won't give their best presentation at work. But there are really significant health issues that can come into play in your body when you don't get enough sleep. Things like weight gain, heart disease, stroke, stomach issues, diabetes, even your immune system can be negatively impacted when you don't get a good night's sleep. Your memory. Why is it you can't remember things as well as you used to? Maybe it's because you're not getting enough sleep at night. And not only enough sleep, but deep restorative sleep. I come back to that phrase a lot because when our body goes into a deep sleep, that is where we get into something called the parasympathetic state which is where our organs and our entire body resets and refreshes every night so that it can face tomorrow its healthiest, strongest, and best self. So you get the point. We need our sleep. Okay, so your next question for me is, how do we do that? Well, the very first thing that you can do for yourself is to make sleep a priority. It is a priority in your life because it's a priority for your health. Do you know that one of the most important things that you can do during the day is let the sun shine in? Your brain needs a certain number of hours of bright light and sunshine. So why do you think most Americans don't get enough sleep? because the average office lighting is not bright enough to reset the circadian rhythm inside our brain. So even if you are stuck in an office all day, every day, take a break, take a walk on a sunny day, get up from your desk and go sit for your 30 minute lunch break in the bright sun. Limit your screen time. Resist the temptation to take the laptop or the smartphone into the bedroom with you. Get the TV out of your bedroom as well. All of these things produce light and radiation that will interrupt your body's natural production of melatonin and prevent you from getting that great restorative night's sleep that your body so badly needs. Consider shutting down all of your devices about an hour before bed Dim the lights in your house, walk from room to room, cut the lights you don't need, dim the lights you can, have soft conversation, read a book, drink a glass of water, get into a mode of relaxation with the least amount of light possible. Here are some more tips that I absolutely love to share with you. Buy a comfy bed, and sheets. And what I mean by that is when you fall into bed at night, you need to feel that 
<sighs> and if you don't, you need to go shopping. Keep the room dark. Darkness really does help our brain fall asleep and stay asleep. Investing in a great pair of blackout blinds or curtains can be the best money you've ever spent. Keep the room cool and keep the room quiet. Find a temperature where you are not going to get hot at night. My wheelhouse is right about 74 degrees. Cut out any distracting noises and consider getting a white noise machine. That was something personally that was really helpful to me because that's a steady delivery of a really soft, consistent noise. My brain isn't thinking about the next sound it's gonna make because it's a steady, consistent delivery of sound that's soft and soothing to my brain. If you find yourself waking up and you can't fall asleep, don't just lay there. Your mind will go a million places if you just lay there in that moment of restlessness. So get up, go get a sip of water, grab a book, put a really soft light on, maybe read another chapter of your nighttime book, but don't lay there and fret because the longer you lay there and fret, the harder it is gonna be for you to go back to sleep. And then another great piece of advice is do the same thing every night when you get ready for bed. My nighttime routine is I get the coffee maker ready, I go in, I brush and floss my teeth, I wash my face, I put my nighttime beauty creams on, I put my essential oils in my bedside diffuser, put a few essential oils on my body, and then I roll over and go to sleep. I do that every night, and literally that becomes Pavlovian in us, whereas our brain says, oh, she's flossed her teeth, it's time to go to sleep. So I encourage you to start a consistent bedtime routine. Try to have a consistent time that you go to bed at night and you get up in the morning. That can be a little difficult with the weekends, but try to keep it close. I work from home, so I don't have to get up with an alarm clock every day. So what I try to do at night is shut down about the same time every evening and I try to get up about the same time, whether I've got a morning meeting or not, just to keep my brain in that steady pattern of being familiar with, we go to bed the same time, we get up the same time. Remove distractions from the bedroom. I'm a huge pet lover. I love my dog more than almost anybody on planet Earth, but I do not let him in my bedroom at night. And the reason for that is because he will scratch, stretch, snore, dream, um, and he's gonna wake me up. So as much as I would love to have my little fur baby in my bedroom at night, he does not get to sleep in my bedroom because that's what's best for me and my health. Here's another big one. Do not nap. If you feel yourself after work or maybe in the afternoon getting that three o'clock fade, push through it. Get up, get some water, get hydrated. Do something that will stimulate your mind and avoid the temptation of taking a nap. It is one of the worst things you can do for your sleep cycle. I have a lot of people tell me I have to have that nap when I get home from work at night. Well, that's the reason you need the nap is because you're taking the nap, so therefore you're not sleeping well that night. So the nap is a no-no, so no naps. All right, my next tip is about avoiding alcohol. And what I mean by that is avoid alcohol late in the evening. Give your liver time to metabolize that glass of wine you had with dinner do not have a nightcap. Do not have a drink at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or just before bed. It is absolutely one of the worst things you can do for your sleep cycle is introduce alcohol too close to bedtime. Get some exercise. 
Exercise during the day can really be helpful to wear the body out a bit during the day and help it to get a better night's sleep. Just make sure that you don't exercise too close to bedtime because exercise will give you energy. So make concessions in your daily schedule, maybe take a walk at lunchtime or exercise in the morning before work, but get your workout in prior to the evening. You also wanna nourish and supplement your body properly and appropriately. Because if you've ever heard me talk in any of my classes before, I say this regularly, a properly nourished body does everything better, and that includes sleeping. I notice if I go a few days and forget to take my vitamins that I take at lunchtime, I don't sleep as good at night. So my body is producing more of its sleep hormones and doing everything else more efficiently if I am being properly nourished and supplemented. You wanna drown out the noise. If you don't live in a quiet place, again, I love my suggestion about using a white noise machine. That is something that if I'm traveling and I'm worried about noise in a hotel room, I will bring my white noise machine on the road with me to drown out any background noise that I'm not used to so that I am not having my brain stimulated in the middle of the night with background noise that is not a normal part of my nightly routine. Add in aromatherapy. As I mentioned earlier, one of my favorite things to do every night before I go to bed is I put a few drops of essential oil in my diffuser and then that runs all night while I'm sleeping. And what happens is that the essential oil molecules are being delivered to me consistently throughout the evening and my brain is getting all the benefits of those chemical compounds and helping me get that great restorative night's sleep that my body so badly needs. You can also try plant-based sleep aids. This is a gel cap that I take every night before I go to bed as part of my nighttime routine. It's called Serenity and it is dried flowers and essential oils that have all the chemical compounds that are going to help me fall asleep and stay asleep to get into that parasympathetic state that's so important for my body and my overall health and well-being. I take one of these about 30 minutes before going to bed. So this is kind of at the top of my bedtime routine before I set up the coffee maker for the next morning. And I take this and by the time I'm ready to climb into bed, it's had enough time in my system to really be a good benefit to me and my overall health. We've all heard the horrible stories of side effects from synthetic sleeping pills and we want to avoid the dangers that come with sleeping pills like that and try a plant-based sleep aid first. So for being part of this webinar, I have an amazing offer for you. I am going to provide for you the Serenity Sleep Combo, which is the gel cap and the essential oil, as well as the diffuser, which will run eight to 12 hours. So it will run the entire time you're sleeping and give you a consistent delivery of these amazing essential oil molecules. They're gonna help you get that great night's sleep and I'm going to give that to you for only $99. Now, most diffusers will cost you that much. So this is a really an amazing offer because I am so excited to help you get that restorative sleep that your body so desperately needs. So in addition to the products, I'm also gonna give you a free 30-minute phone consultation with me so we can speak personally about all of your health concerns, no matter what they are. Again, this is an awesome natural healing specific promotion that you can't find anywhere else. I am so excited to bring it to you because this is such a great first step along your journey and I am absolutely honored to guide you on this path. I see far too many people in my practice, in my life, in my neighborhood, and in my own home who have suffered the side effects of not getting a good night's sleep, whether it's irritability, anxiety, car crashes, diabetes, all the things we mentioned earlier. I'm Mary Lou Harris, and I am the coach that's gonna change your life because I am gonna teach you 
how to get that great night's sleep that you so badly want and your body so badly needs.